Hello. Hi, key guy. What's up, bro? Look, I know you aren't still fixing computers for a living. When are you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me. My boy Mike, good to see you. We must Tell increase you this, the boy. pace. Don't step, step up if you don't want to get my level. Can somebody get me a sandwich? Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. I, uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there are other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there.
Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group, from the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, uh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before, something I could help you with. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why do you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The, the security's internal. Went 1330. We got two hours before we need to be in Marietta Heights. Quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. But what those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh yeah, that spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We need to stay with them and find a place to ambush! What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh... What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being a 
close proximity to you for extended periods of time, and the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. inside. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. ideas. It's going to take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. I'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder, he's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye.
What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. <sighs> Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know, no. sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T!
Who you got in here, huh? As if I need to ask. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit? That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? Comes out in the light. I'll oh, give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there! Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. As if I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! 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 Fuck. Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker. Where are you? Who are your friends, T? Get out of the van! Find it! He's him! You're way off, asshole! It's just me and you! We could have teamed up!
You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. Ha! <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? Michael DeSanta. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! That's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. That's like six burpees right there.
that a luck moment. It's me, dog. Where we at? We're at Enzo Benelli. Mafia guy turned real estate developer. He's bullied his way onto half the building contracts in Los Santos. Extortion, murder, labor racketeering, you name it. There's not a construction worker in town earning a livable wage right now, and Gold Coast Development is about to go under. And let me guess, you got a personal interest in Gold Coast, right? <laughs> Anyone think you'd done this before? Uh, according to Benelli's cell phone, he's at the construction site downtown. It's done. One small problem. My source squealed. Benelli's expecting a hit. Watch yourself and go equipped. You'll have a lot of muscle. And you're telling me to calm down? I'm going to stay near the chopper. You dumb fucks do your job. Fuck with me, I'll lay all y'all ass down.
I'm doing? It's taken care of, but man, that shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin. What's cracking? Hey, I jacked the last ride on that list. You ready to go? Shit, I'm ready to get paid, nigga. Crazy man's got the other ones. Come meet me by Glass Heroes and Strawberry so we can do the damn thing. I'm on my way. Thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me. I'm a professional now, like you and them old dudes. So line it up on the carrier, homie. There she is, homie. We straight. The boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. North Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah, scooch over here. Scooching in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. Dang what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man me. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm going to catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool's sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There were no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. 
Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. That dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that! And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who... Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rocks. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. No part of its mythology like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobo. Well, maybe tired of hobo. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulage. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Aw, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real sad. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Oh, shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? All right, shit. I'll handle this. If you keep driving, I'll use the JB700 to get rid of him. Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, take this headset.
cops right to us, dawg. Maybe you should have done the boost, Mr. CEO. Now get on the shit. Man, dealing with these cops is a Frank. Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. We got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost it. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. We're taking a ride to the truck stop at Procopio. Roger that. I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel one. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of. Head back to town. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right?
Hey, got room for one more? I guess I do. So, big favor. Can you take me to the top of Vinewood Hills by the sign? Thanks, this is so sweet of you. I was starting to think no one was going to stop. Short dress, boots, vulnerable but playful demeanor. What more does a girl have to do these days? You cast out this kind of bait, you'd expect at least a couple of old sharks to come sniffing. But along you came. Thank God. I ain't too sure how to take that right there. Just promise me you're not going to wear my skin or imprison me in a crawl space for 20 years. Joke. Kind of. You're cool, right? Sorry, I'm coming down. I've been parting like a biatch. Yesterday was a blizzard, man. I don't even remember getting out of bed, let alone going to bed. Good times. Okay, and uh, what's on top of Vinewood Hills? I'm going to see my man. He's a security guard at the broadcast tower right behind the famous Vinewood sign. He's been stressed out, really working long hours, so I thought I'd surprise the big lug. We haven't seen each other for like a week. Or maybe it's two. I don't know. Crazy how time flies. Wait, that's my phone. Speak of the devil. Hey, sweetie, I was talking about you. To this guy who was nice enough to give me a ride? No, not like that. I'm pitching back into town. Yeah, I know what happened last time, but I'm pretty sure this guy is okay. I ran out of money or I would have gotten a cab. Yes, all the thousand you gave me? What's the big deal? I said I'd pay you back. I'm sorry, okay? My phone was out of juice. I only just got it charged. I was staying at a friend's at Sandy Shores. You know, Brianna or Susie? No, I haven't spoken to him in weeks. This is just some random guy, I swear. Calm down, babe. Look, would you tell him? Man, are you talking to me? Yes, tell him you're not a guy called Brian. You're just some random guy. Wait a minute, what? Just shout it. I'm just some random guy not called Brian, man. There, babe, you believe me now? Babe. Babe! Shit, he hung up on me. Sorry about that. Man, it sounds like it could have gone a little bit better than that. He'll be fine when I surprise him. Probably just having a bad day. He can never stay mad at me for long. Opposites attract, you know. He's the serious, responsible, pay your bills, save for the future type, and I'm the sexy, bohemian, go off for days and do X in the middle of the desert type. I'm young, I'm still exploring my mind. Discovering who I am. He knows I'll come back. Yeah, when you run out of money. Whoa there, random guy. Less of the judging. Wait, there's my phone again. What's up? Yeah, hitching back into town. How do you think I feel? I'm wrecked. I know, I'll have one last bag etched on my tombstone. Don't flatter yourself. I can walk just fine, thank you. You're bad. Anyway, gotta go. I'll text you later. Don't tell me. Brian, right? What? No, just one of my girlfriends. Look, I'm seriously flagging now. I'm going to rest my eyes for a few minutes, if that's cool. See if I can power nap my way into a second wind. So, broadcast tower behind the Vinewood sign. I th think it's Mount Han Drive. Just holler when we get... Yes, there he is. Hey, babe! Surprise! And who's this guy? What, no kiss? Hey, punk, what the hell do you think you're doing with my woman? Oh, Are you Brian? Uh -huh. Calm down, I don't even know the guy. Don't fight over me, guys. Nobody touches my girl. Oh, what have you done to him, you psychopath?
That's dumb luck right there. Hello, boy. What's that? You said a man is stuck in a tree. And he needs my help? Part of you would rather leave him there because he's a bit of a dick. But you're doing your civic duty. Okay, shit, show me. I've officially lost my damn mind. What, boy? He just jumped out of a fucking helicopter. His parachute fell to open? And now you kind of wish he's missed a tree. But morality is a human construct and you are not hardwired to think that way? I can't believe I'm getting smart talked by a fucking dog. Say what? Wait, you talking about my kind of bitches or yours? This shit is getting weird now, man. Man, you wasn't wrong. Look at this fool. Hey, bro! <laughs> you mind giving me a hand here? Man, that's a cool-ass dog you got, homie. What dog? That dog that saved your... Save your ass, man. Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. What the fuck? Hello? <laughs> when you got a moment. Seriously. My bad, dog. <sighs> oh. Oh. oh, man, that was wild. <sighs> Woo. See, I'm not an adrenaline junkie. I'm a control junkie. Yeah, that parachuting is intense, man. And hey, if along the way I figure out what it means to be alive, well then, let's just make this a little spiritual and say I'm on a thought journey. <laughs> shit, nothing helps me think clearly like shit myself while I'm heading towards a certain death, man. Then you're up for it. Not really, dog. Shit, I respect gravity. Oh, I knew you were a pussy. <laughs> Come on. It's safe, I promise you. Safer than driving a car. The only way it's safer is if you drive a car out of a fucking airplane. Come on, let's go. my pilot let's next level this shit yo jeff you want to take a bit longer next time dude fuck i gotta learn how to say no Like the 
stop talking in pussy manifors. Do you see the bikes yet? Bikes? You didn't mention no fucking bikes. Oh, next surprise, Kimo Sabe. Last one long birthday when you hang out with the El Dominator. This shit is insane. Here we go. Okay, last one down the mountain bite the protein shakes.
gotta trust the mountain, trust the material, and foremost, trust yourself. Pushing out is what is gonna get you knocked out. Yeah, whatever. But me being a fucking idiot is gonna get me killed. <laughs> Listen, meet me by the airport for life lesson numero doso. Where's my moo cow? 